Hello everyone, it's Ishmael and here if you're watching me for the first time and I welcome you to today's video. Listen, both of these statements are true. The devil is weak. He has no power over us. Yes, when we as born again Christians, we have more power and he is powerless. As well as the devil has his own power as well. You get what I'm saying? So meaning to someone who's not a be believer, he is powerless. So you know what the devil does? Instead of relying only on his power that he has, when he realizes he's overpowered, he uses, he's become strategic. He uses his brain. And with this word, I want to tell you that the devil is planning. The devil manipulates you. That is why when you are a good person, the enemy will always find something to put you down with. When he realizes that everything is well, you are rich, you got everything, he will find one minor thing to just to make you not happy. He's using, he uses his brain, how he can he outsmart you to put it simple. Listen, you are a good person. That is why I have seen many different people in the world. Then I'll be like, but if only this person was not doing this, it's actually a good person. He has a good character. He is caring. I remember my mom was sharing with me a story of this other man who used to care a lot about his relatives. If they would come whenever they would visit and all, he would make sure they don't go home without eating. And eating, he would make it a point that they, she would tell him that he would even beat uh, the wife or the, uh, yeah, in fact, he had many wives. If one of the wife, if the person would go, the relative would go without eating and all, he would even beat up his wife for, no, why did the person not eat? Like, uh, maybe you did something to them. No. And when you give them food, you must cook fresh food. You see, that's how caring he was towards his relatives. Then I was looking at it and I was like, wow, not many people do, do, do so. I don't think even myself I would be like that kind, you know. But he had that good character that when relatives come, he would care. He would make sure you get the best you eat and all. But you realize that he abuses his wife or wives. He would beat them up. So you see where the, the shortcoming, some people, they have a good trait that most people don't have, but there is always a bad. And I want to talk to someone right now that it's time you are aware, or if you are not so well aware, may God reveal. There's things that people will find that you are supposed to be employed. You are supposed to be given an opportunity, but people will be like, oh, we only worried about one thing. Or this person is just that they are an addict to this and that. Only if not. And the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, let me tell you, is delivering you from whatever is holding you back. Whatever trait is holding you back. I have seen people who are good, pure-hearted, but the only thing is that they are not born again. Listen, I pray for you right now. Whatever it is that is holding you back. The Apostle Paul said, we're aiming for perfection. Don't give up. It is good to aim for perfection. That is our aim so that we can be more and more good when it comes to displaying our character. Let me tell you, even Apostle Paul, it was the same thing. The man God knew that in his heart, he has the zeal to do things successfully. Hence, when he was persecuting uh, uh, Christians, God was able to take Paul and turn him into an apostle because he could see the depth. Just like what I'm saying today, you have a good heart. You see, you have a good heart. There's just only one part. But in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are doing it. No more hindrances for you. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord help you and use you mightily in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And of course, that's all I had. See you next time.